Well, we are talking about our labor of love this morning. Mm. You know when three brothers are passionate about one profession, there's bound to be some healthy competition. Oh, indeed. But that only inspired the younger brother to join his older siblings in the family business. I'm talking about Giovanni Ciccatello, who has now become the color maestro. And he wow. is about to take us through his labor of love. I was actually working as a bartender and a waiter and my brother Savas was in the industry already and he basically asked me if I wanted to try this out and I was like, cool, let's give it a shot. But at the time it wasn't really a career choice and I ended up liking it. It's nice coming into the shop, making people happy, building a brand, expanding the salon's name, you know. If we had to look at where we were five years ago from a staff of seven to now a staff of 15, you see growth, which is cool. So waking up, doing your thing, building a brand, that's what gets me up. My day entails juggling clients, multitasking. It can be very stressful at times. I trained as an apprentice. I worked under a lot of other stylists, um, but the last year or so I trained under my, my older brother Savas and he's always said don't be as good as I am be better than me you know sometimes you have challenging colors and things and I find if you achieve a color that you really like or that's something that you really want to do, achieve and it comes out exactly how you want it to, to come out I find I get a lot of satisfaction from that in this industry, you know, you do get some people who specialize in either color or cutting things, but I enjoy it all. Like, I can do color. I love doing cuts. Gents cuts are something I really actually enjoy. But color is very technical. That's just the way I think. It's technical, you know. I mean, I enjoy it, I enjoy it all. So I feel we inspire each other, but we do find inspiration through social media, Instagram, uh, YouTube. There's so many hairstylists out there that, that have cool techniques. It's just about being, staying inspired. Always give it a chance. You know, give it six months, see how you feel about it after about six months. You never know if you like something or not. And if you are in the industry and do go into it, stay motivated, you know? And yeah, if that's what you want to do, then pursue it. But just stay passionate about it. Because there's no point in being in this industry if you're not passionate about it. <laughs> 